Um, it's, it's a movement and it's something that I'm, I'm really for just because uh, I think uh, over the years the amount of um, feminism and um, the, the way women are perceived just in society in general has evolved. There are still some things that are, um, are still a bit behind but uh, I, I, I do support feminism, I do support the empowerment of women in general. Their self visible to the world in order to spread out all their ideas? Um, well, I don't know much about it, but the only thing I know is like the equality of the sexes, like how women and men should be equals. Feminism for me, uh, as I remember, is a um, society of women uh, which uh, appeared in the 20th century and uh, women that want uh, the same. Uh, the same, uh, mm, the same position as a man. It's a long story of progress and change. Equal by between sort of the masculine and the feminine in society and politics. Uh, yeah, I mean, the term feminist, I mean, sometimes it's like, you know, <laughs> people kind of see it like, ah, oh, I hate men kind of thing, when it's not really like that. I kind of look at it like uh, I am a feminist in the sense that I do support women and just because of the kind of um, uh, the perception of the, the, the pressures that women have to view to cause this and the other. And feminist kind of just empowers us to just be, and I really like that. I do share some of their ideas. Definitely do, because I believe that they are fighting against a society which is very, very sick. It's insane. Well, because I'm a feminist, I don't believe or like I don't think men should have the same rights of of women. You know, it's just like that's why I think there is a bad connotation. Um, I'm quite uh, in one way. I'm quite old-fashioned because. Uh, I think that woman should be always as a woman. She uh, has to rule the whole family. It doesn't mean that she has to sit at home all the time and doing all the only spending time with kids or cooking. No, I'm not that person. No, I, I'm much more anti-man than, than that. Um, I, th I think you know. I'm, I'm quite aware that I represent the enemy. You know, I'm quite aware that um, as I grew up. I would have been indoctrinated, you know, seamlessly with issues that would be considered now inappropriate. I would, uh, it was called good manners. I'd open doors, for, I'd offer women my seat, things that now were considered to sort of good manners are now perhaps considered a little bit um, you know, unnecessary. So I'm, I, that's the era I come from. So I think change has actually been an important progress. For men to adapt to, um, and it's quite nice to know we don't want to make the, ch the decisions. I don't want to be in charge of other people's lives in that sort of way. This is this is where I get a bit awkward. I don't think anyone's really a feminist or a non-feminist. I just think people, in terms of all people, are equal. And when you bridge, um, when you divide things and have like this is feminism and this is not feminism, you create breaches, you create like divides, and if you just sort of if you went above and beyond that, I guess. So I would say I'm, I'm both and I'm neither at the same time. I'm more about equality of the whole as opposed to subjugating it to segregate pieces. I think it's necessary only in an aspect to further equality for all peoples, for all different genders, sexes. And often I think um, feminism can be taken in the wrong way where it's more well, not that there is a right or a wrong way, I think people's beliefs are their own. But um, I think, yes, to answer your question, yes, it probably is, it is right to keep feminism and the fight for feminism going, but only as an avenue to equality for all, as opposed to, you know, individual issues. I don't think, I mean, I know this is a particular a day that you're representing, and, and, and I think most of us will be aware of 
um, in inequalities in all sorts of areas of life, gender, race, um, sexuality, there's a whole lot of injustices that really ought to be addressed and resolved. Um, it's, you know, and I think one pressing thing is poverty. There's so many issues that need to be addressed um, in terms of equality um, and of course um, women's um, rights and um, is an essential all the time it's all in uh, cleaning the flat and uh, no but you have to always uh, stay uh, as a real woman be elegant uh, um, treat your husband and family uh, like that Beyonce video like she's like one of like she released um, an album last year and one of in one of the uh, videos there is this like bit there is like um, it's, a it's from a TED talk yeah, the, the woman, speaking, the woman about speaking about feminism and how important you know. And before that, I really didn't know much about it. But then after, that, it sounds stupid, like from a Beyonce video, but it was interesting to not let you know hear this woman talking about feminism, how important it is, and how you know you shouldn't tell to a little girl to not dream, um, you know, just, in, as, big in, as, just as big as a man. Like women should should dream uh, as much as a man. Do. It shouldn't be like this, just because we are in, uh, in, uh, in the 2015 and we shouldn't have this kind of people with this kind of thoughts. This is something that is insane, I guess. Yeah, I think the media has got a lot to do with that, like with a lot of things. Um, so yeah, people do get a misconception of what feminism is if they haven't really um, read up on it or looked up on it. Um, yeah, so I, I do think there is that kind of negative and all oh, those women, they don't change, they don't do, they don't do anything, they just hate men and they just really like, you know, but uh, with awareness I think it could change.